this is the normal aortic lumen and this is the PDA lumen. Here you can see the elastic fiber. The elastic fiber is deficient here, but in normal iota, you can see the elastic fibers arranged neatly. Next is the smooth muscles. Here the smooth muscles is arranged in an organized fashion, but here it is poorly organized and arranged in a spiral configuration. Next is intima. Here you can see lot of mucoid field cells which is obliterating the lumen. Because of this arrangement and smooth muscles are very sensitive to environmental factors. For example, oxygen. If you give oxygen, it causes contracture here and if you give prostaglandin, it will vasodilate and open up. So, the smooth muscles in the ductus arteriosus are very sensitive to environmental factor. This is the lumen of the patent ductus arteriosus in the fetal life. This is the smooth muscles, this is the endothelial cells and these are all platelets. In the fetal life, it is not activated. Once a child is born, okay, this smooth muscles, platelets and endothelial cells starts getting activated and there is mild contraction. The lumen which was so big like this getting narrowed now. Then with further activation, you can see the endothelial cells getting activated, the platelet which was like this getting activated and the smooth muscle changes happening. The smooth muscles are getting contracted. And with fl further platelet activation, there is platelet addition and the lumen is getting obliterated. Finally, at the end, CD31 luminal cells also comes in and the total lumen gets occluded. This is how a ductus arteriosus which is patent becomes obliterated within 24 hours of life. Now, coming to the classification of patent ductus arteriosus. Patent ductus arteriosus can be classified with size, shape, hemodynamics and depending upon the amount of pulmonary blood flow and also depending upon the luminal size. Coming to the classification by the size, it is called silent PDA when the size is less than 1.5 millimeter and there is no audible murmur. It is called very small PDA when the size is less than equal to 1.5 millimeter, but a murmur is present. It is called small PDA if it is between 1.5 to 3 millimeter. It is called moderate PDA if it is between 3 to 5 millimeter. And a large PDA is when the size is greater than 5 millimeter. This size is decided on the lateral cineangiographic view. Coming to the age of presentation, it can present immediately in the newborn period, particularly in a premature baby or infancy, childhood and adult. Coming to the angiographic classification which was done by Crickano, he named five type of PDA. Type A is nothing but conical ductus. Here, you have a well-defined aortic ampulla but constriction at the pulmonary end. This is conical ductus. Type B is what is called the window ductus. Here the ductus is very large but the length is really short. This is window ductus. Type C is tubular ductus. Tube like uh, ductus is seen without any constriction. That is type C. Coming to type D, it is called complex ductus which has multiple constriction. The constriction can be at the origin or in the middle or at the distal part. And type E is called elongated ductus. Here the construction is removed from the anterior edge of trachea. So, we have five types of uh, ductus with regarding to shape. Coming to hemodynamic classification, small is when your QPQS ratio is less than 1.5 to 1. The pulmonary blood flow is slightly greater than the aortic blood flow. Moderate when the QPQS ratio is 1.5 to 2.2 is to 1 and large PDA when the QPQS is greater than 2.2 is 1. Almost the pulmonary blood flow is twice that of aortic blood flow and silent is 